basically wanted to make a setup that was easy to switch between my Mac and my PC without having to unplug and replug things. That was the goal. So my PC used to be my main workstation until I got my MacBook last year. And now my PC is basically just for gaming. Uh, the MacBook's great for video editing. It's, it's honestly a lot more, <laughs> a lot more reliable. The only time I use both at the same time is for streaming. And I use the Mac for encoding the stream and the PC for being a PC for gaming. So my PC is kind of set off to the side on top of some Ikea cabinets. And the cabinets are basically just for storage of miscellaneous tech things and hiding some cables. Because it's quite far away, the cables I have running from it to my desk are five meters long and it's just about long enough. So that's cables for USB hubs and the monitor essentially. And those are all bunched together into one zipper cable tidy, which keeps it all looking clean, even though it's kind of just dragged along the floor. So the majority of the time I'm at my desk now, I'm actually using my MacBook. And so to connect everything to it, I'm using a CalDigit dock. So that connects power, audio, display, literally everything through one Thunderbolt cable. The only plugging and unplugging I need to do. Perfect. <laughs> the biggest hurdle for setting up peripherals for the two computers was with audio, making sure I only needed one pair of headphones and one microphone to use for both the PC and the Mac. It's weird that you say pair of headphones. I guess it's like pair of trousers. Why is it a plural? Two ears? Anyway, to do this, I'm using the Yamaha AG06 mixer. It looks quite aesthetically pleasing. I like the style of it, but more importantly, it does what I need to do. So first off, it's powerful enough to run the Shaw SM7B without any exterior preamp needed and it can do EQ and compression on it as well, all in, all in one step, which is great. So all of the PC audio is handled via the USB. That essentially means I can just send out my mic to things like Discord on my gaming PC. And then the Mac is connected through a couple cables, which run through the CalDigit dock. I did have to use a couple of ground loop isolators to remove like the, the background hiss. But other than that, pretty seamless. For playback, I have the mixer connected to an old Sony Bluetooth speaker, which does the job for just casual playback and music basically. But for editing and honestly most stuff, I use my headphones. I'm currently using the Shure SRH 1840s and they're, oh, they're very nice. Oh, they're very nice. Um, the open back headphones, they sound amazing. Yeah, they're just honestly a dream for editing and they sound great for gaming as well. Now, the only other device that I have shared between my PC and my Mac is my mouse. So my requirements for this mouse was basically I wanted something that connect via Bluetooth to my MacBook, then Wi-Fi to my PC. And I also wanted something that was a bit lightweight so I could use it for gaming as well. And that, that narrowed down the options quite quickly. Keyboard wise for my PC, I'm still using an old Vortex Race 3 keyboard just wired in. Um, I didn't feel I wanted to have a shared keyboard between the two devices, basically because when I'm using my Mac, it's useful to have that second display at the ready anyway. I quite enjoy the Mac keyboard typing experience regardless. And I also use the trackpad quite a lot when I'm using my Mac anyway. So it's like, may as well use it if it's there. So yeah, the only switching or unplugging I have to do is plug in the Mac and move in the keyboard. And that works pretty seamlessly, which is, which is nice. So yeah, I use my MacBook to encode my stream and I use my PC as the PC. <laughs> to get the PC feed to my MacBook, I'm using an Elgato HD60X. Now you can do pass through on this to use the display as you would normally. However, what I like to do is actually just open the preview window within OBS and just have that open within my Mac operating system. I essentially do this so I can have things like chat open on the same main monitor rather than having to move it to a second monitor. A big thing I'm aware of while streaming is eye line and eye level and how kind of weird it can look looking to a second monitor, especially when that monitor is below your normal eye level. It can just look, it can look very noticeable and it just kind of looks a bit, it looks dumb. <laughs> It looks dumb. So I always try and make sure displays are kind of at or above the, the camera eye line, basically, just so it doesn't look weird. Speaking of camera, I use the A7 III powered by a dummy battery and run to the Mac, 
via the cam link. And it's all held onto my desk with a Manfrotto friction arm and a clamp, making it easy to adjust or basically get into the right position. Once it's set, you can kind of forget it. But if I change lens, I can move it about quite easily. The lens I'm using at the moment is a vintage medium format Pentax lens on a tilt shift adapter. It's a bit, it's a bit, it's a bit alternative, but it's quite funky. And I, I just love the, the look it gives, basically. It's, it's different, it's weird, it's kind of cool. And obviously while I'm using my camera, I'm always shooting in log, even for streaming, I'm in log, and then I color grade um, just to make it look good. If you want to pick up any of my color grading LUTs, they are on my store. They're not the stupidly overpriced 50 quid LUTs that some of the, um, they're like, they're $6, they're, that's like five quid. Cost of a big old latte from <laughs> Starbucks. Anyway, as for lighting when streaming, um, I have one main key light. It's the, the Razer key light, kind of sits behind my PC. It's bright. I'm quite impressed for the size of it. I'm impressed how bright it is. However, to make any adjustments to it, you have to use the PC software. Uh, it's a pain. It's a pain. I wish there were physical adjustments on it, but hey, I've got it. May as well use it. I also have a BenQ lamp on my desk and um, that kind of helps work as a little fill light for my face, but also, I mainly just use it as like an ambient light source for when it gets a bit dark in the evening and I'm sitting at my PC just to help with eye strain basically. And uh, yeah, I think the only other device I have on my desk is the Loop Deck. I'm currently using the Loop Deck Live. Ideal for streaming, does everything I need to do within OBS, um, but I mainly use it in video editing. I use it a lot in Premiere. I, I, it's, hard to, it's hard to edit without it now. It's become muscle memory. <laughs> But yeah, that's basically it for tech stuff. I'll, I'll rattle through some other bits I got about on my desk for those interested. Desk mats. I didn't think I was a desk mat guy, um, but Orbit Key sent me over some of the very nice desk mats and I fell in love with this, this black slim one. What I love about it is it has magnetic cable holders on the end. So for my MacBook Thunderbolt cable, I can basically unplug it and not worry about it falling off the desk. It's always within arm's reach. Makes it very easy for switching. Um, I did think that the black by itself was a bit overbearing. So I've put another cork mat on top. I, I, th I think it helps bring a little bit of warmth to the desk that was otherwise lacking. And then obviously to the side of that, I've got my, my mouse mat, my cutting mat. I'm a graphic design boy that has got used to using a cutting mat as a mouse mat and can't change back now. That's just what that is. I guess lastly, that brings us on to the, the center point of the desk is the monitor. So I'm using an LG ultra wide. It's, it's quite old now. I think it's discontinued, but still holding up. Well, still doing good. That's held up by what was a bargain of an adjustable monitor arm. Honestly surprised how cheap it was for how sturdy it is. To be honest, what I love about this kind of arm is that, yeah, it can get it to the right eye level, brings it a bit closer to you, which is great, but also it kind of makes it look like your monitor's floating a bit. And I just, I love that aesthetic, it, it's great. And then under the monitor, I have my my desk shelf. It's an upside down skateboard. Uh, the trucks working as <laughs> the stand legs, but it's a vibe, I love it. Does exactly what I need it to do. Yeah, it gives me just a tiny bit extra storage that I need. And it's, it's the dream, it's the dream. I honestly think it's the next big setup trend. I think everyone's gonna start putting skateboards on the desk as desk shelves. I think it's, I think it's a good vibe. <laughs> Anyway, I'll have most stuff I mentioned in the description. If I've missed anything that you're curious about, ask me, I'll answer in the comments. And if you're a nerd like me and wanna follow my, my setup journey, uh, follow my Instagram if you want. If not, bye. <laughs>